Hello and welcome to Dr. Anima Upadhyay's Chemistry Lab videos. In today's video, we'll learn about the viva voce questions that could be asked if you're performing determination of viscosity coefficient of a given organic liquid using Oswald viscometer. Let us start with the questions. Define viscosity. Viscosity is defined as the internal resistance flow between the layers of the liquid, which prevents the flow of the liquid. Why we need to determine the viscosity of a given liquid? Viscosity is an important property of a lubricant. So, before applying a liquid as a lubricant to any machinery, its viscosity should be determined. What is the other name for Oswald viscometer? Oswald viscometer can be also called as glass capillary viscometer. What is the principle of the flow of the liquid or the viscosity of the liquid in a capillary? It is based on Poisy law which says that viscosity coefficient eta is equal to P R square T pi by 8 V I, where P is the hydrostatic pressure, R is the radius of the capillary, T is time taken in seconds for the flow of the liquid, V is the volume of the liquid taken and I is the length of the capillary. Can you explain the procedure in brief when you are performing the experiment using Oswald viscometer? While the experiment is performed, the Oswald viscometer, which is made up of a U-tube with a bulb on either side of the limb, a larger bulb on one side and a small bulb with marks above and below the bulb on the smaller bulb side, the test liquid is taken in the large bulb, which is sucked into the small bulb above the above mark. And the room temperature is recorded. The liquid is allowed to flow from above mark to the lower mark. And the time is recorded in seconds using stopwatch. This is repeated three times. Then it is washed with water. Followed by acetone and kept in hot air oven to dry. After it is completely dried, it is taken out from the oven cool to the room temperature and then the same procedure is followed with standard solvent such as water. What is the formula by which you will determine the viscosity coefficient of the liquid using Oswald viscometer? Here the viscosity coefficient which is eta 1 for the test liquid is to be determined. T1 and Rho1 is the time taken in seconds for the test liquid. Rho1 is the density of the test liquid at given temperature. Eta2 is the viscosity coefficient of water. T2 and Rho2 are the time taken for the water to flow from above mark to lower mark and Rho2 is the density of water at that temperature. So, eta1 is equal to T1 rho1 by T2 rho2 multiplied by eta2. So, this is how we can calculate the viscosity coefficient of the test liquid. Why the viscometer should be washed with acetone? Acetone is an organic volatile liquid. Therefore, it goes away very fast into the atmosphere, taking away moisture with it, helping in the drying of the apparatus fast. Therefore, it is used for drying the apparatus. Why the apparatus should be dried completely? The apparatus should be dried completely because if the water vapor also is there or the droplets of water is there, it leads to the formation of emulsion which changes the 
rate of flow of the liquid and results into an error. Therefore, it should be dried completely. Why it should be cooled down to room temperature? It should be cooled down to room temperature because viscosity varies inversely with temperature. So, we should not take any risk. Bring it to the room temperature and perform the experiment with the standard liquid that is water. What are other types of viscometer? Do you know some other names also? Redwood viscometer 1, Redwood viscometer 2, Seibold viscometer. We can use these viscometers also for determining the viscosity coefficient of a given oil sample. What are the different types of viscosities? There are two types of viscosities. Dynamic viscosity and kinematic viscosity. Which one we measure? We measure the kinematic viscosity. Because dynamic viscosity is absolute viscosity. What is the difference between the dynamic and kinematic viscosity? In dynamic viscosity, we measure the force which is applied to bring about the flow in the liquid. That is, we measure the internal resistance between the different layers of the liquid. Whereas in the kinematic viscosity, we measure the time, that is the rate of flow in time, in seconds when a force is applied on the liquid to flow. Which force do you apply upon the liquid? We don't apply any force on the liquid. It is allowed to flow freely under the gravitational pull from above mark to lower mark. What are the units of viscosity? It is measured in Pascal second, centipoise, meter square per second, centimeter square per second. What are the various factors that affects the viscosity? There are many factors which affects the rate of flow of liquid that is viscosity or viscosity coefficient such as temperature, molecular weight, polar groups, hydrogen bonding. How molecular weight affects the viscosity. With the rise in molecular weight, viscosity also rises. That is, it is directly proportional to molecular weight. It is also directly proportional to hydrogen bonding and to polar groups. But it is inversely proportional to temperature. What is the effect of temperature on fluidity? Fluidity is directly proportional to temperature. With rise in temperature, fluidity increases. What is fluidity? Fluidity is ease to flow. So when a substance flows easily, it is less viscous. But if a substance is highly viscous, its fluidity will be low. So they are reciprocal to each other. I have covered almost all the questions that could be asked when you are performing this experiment. If you have any more queries, don't hesitate to put them in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Also like and share my videos among your friends. Thank you. Keep watching.